Today we're going to talk about a fast radio burst that's so old and so far away it makes us feel like we're living in the Stone Age. Seriously, this thing is older than your grandma, older than the dinosaurs, older than Earth itself. It's so old, it probably remembers when the Big Bang was just a little pup. But before we get into that, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. I know guys, it sounds like a classic YouTuber thing, but it really helps us big time, so I have to do it. Alright, let's get started. So what is a fast radio burst, or FRB for short? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like, a very short and very intense burst of radio waves that comes from somewhere in the sky. These things are so powerful they can release more energy in a millisecond than our sun does in 30 years. That's like a billion times more powerful than a nuclear bomb. And they're so mysterious we don't even know what causes them. Some people think they're from alien civilizations trying to communicate with us. Others think they're from black holes or neutron stars colliding with each other. And some others think they're just glitches in the matrix. Yeah, that totally makes sense, right? Just kidding. Or am I? But whatever these freaky radio flashes are, they're like finding a needle in a haystack. We've only caught a glimpse of about 50 of them so far, and most of them are like one night stands that never call back. But some of them are more loyal and they keep coming back for more. And that's how we can stalk them and find out where they live and what they do. And that's exactly what a bunch of nosy astronomers did with the oldest and most far out FRB ever found. This FRB was detected by a radio telescope called ASCAP in Australia on June 10th, 2022. It was named FRB 2022-0610A, which sounds like a boring password you'd use for your email account. But don't let that fool you, this FRB is anything but boring. It's actually very special because it came from a galaxy that's about 8 billion light years away from us. That means it took 8 billion years for the radio waves to reach us, which means we're seeing the galaxy as it was 8 billion years ago. That's more than half the age of the universe. And what did this galaxy look like back then? Well, according to the astronomers who spied on it with a giant telescope called VLT in Chile, it looked like a party of two or three galaxies that were getting it on. That's right, this FRB came from a cosmic hookup of galaxies that were bumping and grinding and making new stars and planets, and maybe even new life forms. But why does this matter? Why should we give a damn about an old and far away FRB? Well, because it can tell us something very important about the universe itself. Something that's been driving scientists crazy for a long time. Where is all the matter that's supposed to be there, but isn't? You see, when we look at the universe and count all the stuff we can see, stars, planets, galaxies, etc., we find that there's not enough of it to explain all the gravity that glues everything together. There must be something else out there that we can't see. Something sneaky and mysterious that makes up most of the weight of the universe. We call this dark matter. But there's a problem. Even if we add up all the dark matter and all the visible matter, we still don't get enough to match what our best theories of cosmology tells us. There's still some normal matter on the run. Atoms that we are all made of but can't track down. We think that this missing matter is hiding out in the space between galaxies. Gas that is so hot and so thin that it doesn't show any signs of life. It doesn't emit any light or radiation that we can detect. But guess what? Fast radio bursts have a special talent. They can sniff out this gas. Even in space that's almost completely empty, they can spot all the electrons that are drifting around. And by measuring how much these electrons mess with the radio waves as they zip through space, we can figure out how much gas there is between galaxies. And that's exactly what these astronomers did with FRB 2022. Not again, just look at the screen, it's too long. They used this FRB as a cosmic ruler to measure how much gas there is between us and its source galaxy. And guess what? They found out that it matches perfectly with what our theories predict. There's no missing matter after all. This is a huge discovery because it confirms one of the most basic things we need to know about the universe. How much stuff there is in it and where it is. And it also shows that fast radio bursts are amazing tools to explore the universe and its history. They're like cosmic flashlights that illuminate the dark and hidden secrets of space and time. But wait, that's not all. This FRB also gives us a sneak peek into the future of astronomy. Because it's so old and so distant, it's about as far back as we can go with our current telescopes. And if we want to see even older and more distant ones, we'll need bigger and better telescopes. And luckily, we're working on them right now. We're building some monster telescopes that will blow your mind. 
with what they can see. One of them is called SCAR, or Square Kilometer Array, and it'll be the largest radio telescope ever built. It'll have hundreds of thousands of antennas spread across Australia and South Africa, covering a total area of one square kilometer. That's like a million times bigger than your TV antenna, and you thought your TV had a lot of channels. Well, this telescope will have way more. It will also be able to catch thousands of fast radio bursts across the sky, and even at farther distances. It will also be able to spy on other cosmic stuff such as pulsars, black holes, galaxies, and the birth of the universe. It will be like a giant ear that hears the whispers of the cosmos, and maybe even some alien gossip. Who knows, maybe they're talking about us right now. Now let's talk about the ELT, which stands for the Extremely Large Telescope. This thing will be the biggest and baddest of optical telescopes, with a mirror that's almost 40 meters wide. That's like the size of a basketball court. Think about this, it'll serve up images 15 times crisper than the Hubble Space Telescope. And you know how awesome Hubble's pictures are. But the ELT is even better. With its superpower, it'll go deeper into the secrets of space. It's like having a zoom lens for the universe. But that's not all. The ELT is not just about beautiful images, it's also on a mission to study those weird fast radio bursts and figure out what caused them. Also, it's got the curiosity to explore dark energy, gravity waves, supermassive black holes, and more. By the way, who came up with the name ELT? That's like the most boring and obvious name ever. Couldn't they think of something more creative and catchier? Like Super Awesome Mega Telescope, or Cosmic Eye, or something. Come on guys, you're building the biggest telescope in the world. At least give it a cool name. But hey, let's not be too harsh on them. Sometimes simple is better, right? So what do you think about this discovery? Do you have any questions or comments? Let us know in the section below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more space videos. We have plenty of them on our channel, and let me tell you, they're all unique and interesting. You might even fall in love with the channel after watching them. Just check it out. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.